That's right, two brand new kits have leaked for The Sims 4. Okay, these were leaked by the Wicked Whims creator of all people on Twitter. So the first one is called Pastel Pop Kit. As if we don't already have enough femboy cute stuff in The Sims 4, we've got even more. I'm honestly really surprised by this because we also had the High School Years pack recently, which is an extremely similar style, like extremely similar. Are these unused concepts from the High School Years pack? I'm just putting it out there. It also looks like that, what was that groovy kit called? Decor to the Max, was that the one? I can't help but feel like it looks like Decor to the Max a little bit, but just a pastel version. I honestly don't know how I feel about it because like I said, we've honestly had so much pastel, babyish, soft boy core stuff already. I don't know if I can take any more. I want some variety. I mean, I don't have to buy it. So, you know, nobody's forcing me to play it. Nobody's forcing me to buy it. I'm just saying, I personally would like a little bit more diversity than just soft pink stuff all the time. I just find it looks very childish and very unrealistic. And I just can't imagine myself ever really using any of this in a build. But if you like cute girly things, this is the Gen Z version of Groovy Chick, I guess. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Everyday Clutter Kit. This is one I'm actually really excited for because a lot of builders love using clutter and they always complain they want more clutter. One of the most fan requested things for The Sims 4 in terms of kits is a clutter kit. This is literally a kit devoted to clutter. You can see there's already things like coffee mugs, glasses, phone and keys, books, flasks, containers. Is that dumbbells? I won't be using those. Headphones. Literally every- Oh look, there's a kettlebell there. I use one of those today in the gym. It seems like there's just one of everything and honestly I love it because kits are always centered around like one design theme, like pastel pop kit, whereas this one just seems like a little bit of everything. And that's why I genuinely honestly think it looks so cool and I'm actually really excited excited for this kit. For all builders, this is a good kit. I do admit it is very strange that this time around we got to build buy kits because before we always got a cast kit and then a build buy kit. Is it that the cast kits were simply just not selling so they decided to just focus on build buy? That is alleged my opinion but I believe that is true. What do you think of pastel pop kit? Am I getting cancelled for using the word fanboy in a video? <laughs> won't be the first time. As always, make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more Sims 4 news. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.